Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. Today, I just wanted to show you a one simple thing in Laravel that you can also apply in your projects. So let's begin. So if you see here, I am here in the dashboard controller, which is extending the base controller of Laravel and it is returning a dashboard view and currently it is this one, this route. Okay. Now let's see that if we remove this extends controller, will this page be rendered or not? So let me remove this. And now let me refresh the page here and here it is and we can still see this page. So it is not necessary that you need to extend this controller base controller. So if you see here, the controller is on the same folder here inside the controllers folder, this controller class. So you don't need to extend the controller in order to render a page in Laravel. Suppose let's say you have a very big project and a lot of controllers in your project, then it is a good idea to remove this because it might increase the performance of our application slightly. So what it does, let's see. So before removing it, you should make sure that you aren't using any of the functionalities of this class. Okay. So if we go here inside the controller, so it is simply using these three traits. So here authorizing the request, dispatching jobs and validate requests. Okay. So let's see this validate request. So inside this, it has just some methods like validate with and this validate. So let's say if we go here in the dashboard controller, let's say if you are not using this validate like this, then in any of the controller, then you can remove this. But if you are using like this, the validation, then you should consider moving that validation logic into its own class. So in Laravel, you can make requests class. So where you can validate request data. So you can just move this to the separate class and you can then remove this controller. Similarly, if you look here in the controller, we have this dispatches job here. So it has also some methods like dispatch and dispatch now. So if you don't know, you can also directly dispatch a job from a controller like this. Like if you can directly access from this keyword, you can do it like this. But normally we'll create a job. Let's say this is a job and we'll dispatch it like this. Normally we'll do this. Yeah. If you have dispatched jobs in your application like this, then you can just remove this extends controller. You don't need that because you haven't used this arrow dispatch inside the controller. But if you have, then just remove this line with this. So this job is whatever job you create, whatever the name of the job that you have created. And this is the dispatch method on it. And again, here in the controller, you have this authorizes request. So some gates and policies that are inbuilt in the Laravel. So if you are not directly using this authorize and authorize for users methods, similarly that we have looked in the other classes, then you can remove that extends controller. So in this case, we haven't used any of those functionalities. So we can simply remove this controller from here and the page works as it was working before. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then please let me know in the comment section below and please give a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.